Athens is Greece's largest city and capital. It's also one of the world's oldest cities, spanning over three or four thousand years. There is no shortage of abundance in Greek culture here. You can find it in the streets, taste it in the food, and see it in its breathtaking ancient monuments. For me, this was the highlight of my time spent in Athens. We started off by checking out the Temple of Zeus in Hadrian's Arch, which was absolutely beautiful. You will see. After that, we headed over to the site of the Acropolis and on the way, we got to experience a little bit of Greek culture. The first stop at the site of Acropolis was the Odium of Herodes Atticus. This theater was used as a venue for music concerts and could seat up to 5,000 people. Then we made our way up to the top of the site walking through the remains of the Temple of Athena Nike first, which had a beautiful view of the city of Athens and beyond. Walking and walking up to the Acropolis. The views here are absolutely insane. Insane. It's so beautiful. I want to move here. <laughs> Walking past that, the first thing you will see is the iconic Parthenon temple dedicated to the goddess Athena whom the people of Athens worshipped. This is considered to be the most important surviving building of classical Greece and is the most prominent monument at the top of the Acropolis that can be seen from afar. Hey you! I know Who's you. this hottie? Hottie Tony. We are so jet lag, but honestly, when you see this kind of beauty that we're seeing right now, you're just so high on light that you don't even feel it. It's absolutely unreal. Can you just see the situation that's happening behind me? Just look. Is that not amazeballs? Also at the site of Acropolis is the Sanctuary of Artemis, the Sanctuary of Pandion, the Sanctuary of Zeus, the Altar of Athena, the Older Temple of Athena, the Odium of Pericles, and the Theater of Dionysus. If you walk over to the right of the sanctuary of Pandion from the entrance to the Acropolis and look over the ledge, you will get a beautiful aerial view of the remains of the theater of Dionysus and the modern city of Athens. It's absolutely breathtaking. Trying to escape the rock? Trying to escape the rock. Say something to the bloke. What do you want to say to the bloke? That's all I wanted to Are say. Are you tired? No. Are you jet lagged? No. You're not? No. You feel good? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. Me too. Let's go get some food. Another great thing about Athens is that it has a major port about 30 minutes from the center of the city where you can take a ferry boat to any of the Greek islands, which is what we did. We took the high speed 6 ferry from Athens to Eos and Santorini, which was about a 5 hour boat ride. It costs between 30 to 50 euros per person one way, depending on which class you want to sit in. We decided to sit in the business class area so that we could work on the tables during the ride.
About a 5 to 10 minute walk from the site of Acropolis is a little area called Plaka where they have a bunch of cute little shops and restaurants where you can enjoy some delicious Greek food. Prices are about mid-range and the portion sizes are really good. If you want a more fine dining experience with a gorgeous view of the Acropolis, I would highly recommend the Electra Roof Garden restaurant at the Electra Palace Hotel. The food is delicious although the portions are much smaller and come with a heftier price tag. The experience and the view is truly magical. I'll link it in my description box if you want to check it out. So the reason we know about the Electra Palace Hotel's rooftop garden restaurant and its beautiful views is because this is where we stayed for one night before we ventured off to Santorini. This is a more classically styled hotel with a beautiful lobby area and decent sized rooms for Europe. We also enjoyed their buffet breakfast the morning we arrived that was included in our stay and it was great. Lots of selection of hot dishes such as scrambled eggs, sunny side up eggs, grilled tomatoes, sauteed mushrooms and potatoes, as well as cold options like organic yogurt, smoked salmon, fresh fruit and pastries. Another thing we truly enjoyed was that it was only a 25 minute drive from the port of Athens. So if you're planning on hopping on a ferry to visit any of the beautiful islands in Greece, the location is ideal. On the way back from our time in Santorini, we decided to stay at the Greek Hotel Palace Athena this time for its very unique design aesthetic. And as it turned out, they had the best buffet breakfast we have ever seen or tasted, which was included with our stay. Having breakfast in Athens, we're at the Greg Hotel. It's such a beautiful hotel, so eclectic. That's the breakfast area over there. Check out these paintings on the walls. So cool, and every single room in this hotel has a different mural on the wall. I mean like the suites. So this is the area where the restaurant is. Very artsy, very eclectic. Very cool. And let me show you my favorite part. Check out these tweed chairs, guys. It's like Coco Chanel written all over it. So cute. And this is the lobby area. That's like a massive baseball mitt that you can lounge on. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. And this is the seating area. So very interesting carpet, wooden tables. We wanted to run, we wanted to fall together. Back then our world seems so clear. And then over here we have Kim Kardashian. Except I think the bum bum is a little bit too small for Kim K. I think Kim K would agree. So I wanted to show you guys our room. So this is what it looks like when you walk in. We actually have the family suite. Remember when I told you guys every single room has a different mural? So our mural is like all aquarium themed. And since this is a family suite, we got a little bed for Bobby and a little bed for Billy, our imaginary children. It has a beautiful little mural. And then if you walk through this little hallway, you have the best room with a massive sink, mirror, oh hello, shower, toilet, and then when you walk through here, this is the master bedroom which we already destroyed with all of our crap, which we have to clean up now because we have to leave. There's a little, another little mural on the wall of a mermaid. There's a massive closet. I would definitely recommend staying here. So that wraps up my Athens travel tour guide. We only spent two days in Athens total, but we really tried to make the most of our time there and hope that this information will help you if you're planning on visiting this beautiful city one day. My Santorini travel tour guide will be up next, so make sure you're subscribed so you can be notified when it goes up. We spent a lot of time in Santorini and did a lot of exciting activities, so I'm super excited to be sharing that video with you guys soon. In the meantime, you can follow me over on Instagram and Snapchat. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.